I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great new stone and salutation to sincere Akim that's pushing and teaching this word at a high velocity, high level, you know. In these last days, we want to go into a lesson. Or slacky, we want to go into a lesson called um, Chastening is Seasonal, you know. The afflictions, tribulations, whatever you want to call it, is seasonal. You got some times whereby you're catching hella hell. Then they got sometimes the most time get ease because you know he won't be merciful if he just keep pressuring you all the time, he eventually crack. You know, we're not everlasting as him, so it can be seasonal. Um this darkness. Yeah. It's chill. Go ahead and read Priest Park, Baba Sure. It is Luke chapter 4, verse 13. It says, and when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed. Slack you. Uh, go up a couple of verses with like a couple, couple of temptation at time. Start one? Yeah, let me start from one. Yeah, Luke chapter 4, verse 1. And Yahushai, being full of the Holy Spirit, uh -huh. returned from Jordan and was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness. Alright, so you see, he was in the Spirit. Right? I mean, when you're at a certain level, you know, you, you gotta maintain it until you get chased in. And then, you know, this lesson, we'll, we'll go into that. Go ahead. If I could say, yeah, like as as Ark was saying, on like there are different there are different things that will come your way, based on your spirit, you know, based on um, how you grow, you know, as you increase in the spirit, you know, there are different things that the Moses would, you know, um, bring your way, you know, different tribulation. All right, first two. Yeah, it says being forty days tempted of the devil, mm -hmm. and in those days. He did eat nothing, and when they were ended, he afterward hungered. Okay. Because the flesh was was weakening the flesh, so the spirit could grow. All right, and the flesh, the flesh is is, is being chaotic when you when you, when you're in the state when you're fasting. So she's like, you gotta feed me, you gotta feed me. Are you hungry? And you, your belly growling, you, you start thinking all sorts of things. You know, all sorts of things come to mind, but you just gotta endure, brother. Says, and the devil said unto him, If thou be the son of the Mosai, mm -hmm. command the stone that it be made bread. Right, so he was, that's him being chastened. You know, you were talking about food, but he was fasting. And, and, and what should I say? Yeah, he says, um, And how should I say unto, said unto him, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone okay. but by every word of the Mosai. Okay. and that's that's what we got to do when when we're being chastened we got to use the word we got to cleave to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai um, even more all right I got a quick precept here this is Sirach chapter 2 and verse 2 it says set thy heart to write and constantly endure all right and make no haste in the time of trouble Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased in the last end. So cleave when you, when you in this cleave to your father, cleave to the father. You how about you know, share even more? You know, read more, pray more, fa and enjoy fast, enjoy whatever affliction you're going through. Because there's there's like them bitches, you know, who 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 loyal to the man. As soon as little hard time to catch them, you give them little, you give them little, you know, little. We 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 scar along a little shiny right so a little little um little home cooked food about done sweet to to these fast food and them shit and the the done sweet to you know going to walk in taxi or going to walk with the car or you know living in a certain area and you know they get comfortable have a little hard time catch them the the run but you know a, a trooper a true trooper gonna endure. Yeah, and you know, the scriptures re uh, refer to Israel as a comely and delicate woman, especially elect. You know, the same revelation was a, a, a woman dressed in white raiment, white linen, right? All right, so we got to cleave more when we go into these things. Do it out. Yep, it says, and the devil taking, taking him up into a high mountain mm -hmm. showed unto him all the kingdom kingdoms of the world 
yeah. in a moment of time. Yeah, so what will happen to you can get envious in this street too. There's another part to the um, chastening. You can see, you know, you might be seeing the heathens getting money, you might see people at your workplace getting promotions, you might even see Akim in the camp and all too doing well. And a demon might jump on you by this man, always this and this man, this man, you know, moving up and so forth. All is chasing him to see if you truly, you think, and this, this is what the devil doing. The devil tempting you, Havoshai. This is all chasing him is tempting, temptations for you. Um, to see if you're worthy, to see if you're fit for the kingdom. Where are What's this up? Anyway, it says, and the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomever I will give it. Uh -huh. If thou therefore will worship me, and shall be it all shall be thine. Uh -huh. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt worship Yahweh thy power. Mm -hmm. And him only shall thou serve. God. Alright? Only Yahweh Shim Yashai we should serve where the ups are down. Don't be a fucking dangles as we so the jumping from man to man. Where that? Nine. And he brought to him and he brought him to Jerusalem and set him on a pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the son of man, cast thyself down from hence. For it is written, he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee. Can. Because when, when you're being chastened, when you're being um, persecuted, afflicted, so much words the scriptures use, you just feel like you just want to give up. You know? You just feel like, like you want to kill yourself. But they got no easy way out. There's no shortcut. No shortcuts in this truth, all right? Where that? Says um, 11, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, mm -hmm. lest thou, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. You can. And your mind and, and, and the deception of these of these left hand angels sent to do the mission will tell you that, yeah, man, so if you sin a little bit, you can get away with it, buddy, but they ain't true. They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna come back. The scripture says that. Let me get it. Hebrews 10, 21. So, verse four, say. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty-one. Yeah, uh, not twenty-one. Check twenty-six. Yeah, do I have twenty-six? It's yeah. okay. This is Hebrews chapter ten, verse twenty-six. For if we sin willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice of sin. So, and this this is a messed up thing. If you know you're being chastened, say for example, a man, woman, want to come, want to come and give give something, and you don't know the law. Everybody should know the law, but don't and know the story of David and everything. And you gonna sin willfully. While being chastened, because this is what this is what gonna happen. She gonna be looking good, she be smelling good, she got all the qualities that you're looking for, but not knowing she got a man, and you and you you fighting all these demons. But you know you 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 so like the staff party, <laughs> you drink a little some some, and you and you get tight you end up lashing him out, and, and you know when liquor get to your head. Like just today I was I was uh, watching Apostle Apostle Rakal listening on though. Don't let every nigga in your house. And he made mention of stuff like that. You know, you get drunk and you lash another man wife, you fucked up. You know? Yeah, but go ahead, huh? Yep. Um And Yahushai answered answering said unto him, It is said thou shalt not tempt Yahweh thy power. Can and if you being chastened and you know that this is a test and you go and sin this you tempting how bashim yo shai yeah you how bashim yo shai can forgive me this this fucking this this israel back in isaiah that was at a the most i say sick of the, sick of the sacrifices he's sick of the fat in the blood i'm wearied by your oblations because every time the sin that had a that had a goat on lay away ready ready for pay the sacrifice 
Alright? Um, good on Yep. 13. And when the devil had ended all the temptation, uh -huh. he departed from him mm -hmm. for a season. For a season. So that was the amount of time he go through affliction, right? Yep. Awesome. Yep. Yep. Because like the scripture that I read earlier in um Sirach. in Sirach chapter 2, it says, For in the time okay. of temptation, right? And they'll, they'll show that there's a, a specific time. Okay. Or it's going to be seasonal as I said. Okay. The thing going to be like, like one thing all the time. Okay. All right. Yes, some. Yes, some. You got something? Yeah, this is uh, Sirach chapter 13 verse 1 mm -hmm. It says He that loveth his son causeth him off to feel the rod mm -hmm. That he may have joy of him in the end He that chastiseth his son mm -hmm. shall have joy of him Of him shall have joy in him And shall rejoice of him among his acquaintance Alright And it says that he that loveth his son causeth him off to feel the rod and you go through different different uh, tribulations, you know, different sufferings is really, you know, the most I prove proving you. Alright? Like that, that that temptation is really to prove you. Yeah. You know? See if you um true grit or true goal. See if it's pure goal. Yeah. You know? Um go yep. to uh Ecclesiastes. No, go to Hebrews 12 and 11. And close with Ecclesiastes. Hebrews? No, close with Sirach. Yeah. Yeah, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 11. Hebrews 12 and 7? Yeah. 12. And 11. And 11? Yeah. yeah. Hebrews 12, verse 11, it says, Now the chastening of the present seemeth seem it to be joy slack here no no chastening mm -hmm. for the present seem it to be joyous mm -hmm. but grievous nevertheless afterward it yielded the peaceable fruit well, of there. righteousness so when it says no when when you're going through chastening it's feel like you're taking forever it's feel like the, the, the world coming down on you but when you when you um check the word yield yeah, I'll check it out for sure. Let me get this Yield, right? That's G591. That's um, up, 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 Odi Omi says to deliver, to give away for one's profit what is what is one's own to sell, to pay off, discharge what is due. Yeah, go ahead. Up. Yeah, this is yield in the English dictionary. It says mm -hmm. to pay, give in payment, repay, recompense, reward, requite. Good. Go back to the precept of the Yep. Um, Hebrews 12 and 11 it says, Now the chastening for the present slack it. Now no chastening for the present seem it to be joyous. But grievous, nevertheless, afterward it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercise thereby thereby yeah so it says afterward it eat the peaceful fruit but you become strong you become wiser you become uh, more grounded you, 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 your joy increase you know yeah you, you find inner peace that inner peace where everybody claim they're looking for the woke shit you know everybody claiming the woke and they ain't even know even know the whole fucking uh, nationality all right um, 
um, Hebrews 8 is Hebrews 5 and 8 we talk about yeah Hebrews chapter 5 verse 8 it says though he were a son yet he learned obedience by the things which he suffered yeah. and being made perfect and that's that peaceable um is that yeah in Hebrews 12 it says and being made perfect he be fruit. yeah the peaceable fruit is you being made perfect yeah. all right because you ain't gonna be going off no more in the kingdom but we 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 suffering over on this side we're yeah. going through what we have to go through on this side so that when we're in the kingdom you know we're gonna be better judges all right and we're gonna be righteous we're gonna the, the, the law, statutes, and commandments going to be written in our inward parts. Yeah. All right? It says, And being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah, because what would be, what would be the purpose? What would be the purpose of Yahweh Hashim Yashek putting you through all the affliction and giving you a break? You know? That's some Esau shit. You know? Um... But to uh to rock 22 and 6 I'm sure yeah this is Sirach chapter 22 verse 6 a tale out of season mm -hmm. is as music in mourning mm -hmm. but stripes and correction of wisdom are never out of time so it's, it's never out of time so and you know Ecclesiastes 3 talk about a time for everything a time for mourning a time for, for rejoice so likewise with correction is never out of time. A correction is come when you when you need it, when you need to grow, when you need to be better at this particular thing, when you need to examine yourself. When you, and, and, and it prevents you from getting too comfortable. Because when you get comfortable, you go in a routine and then you sometimes you lose track of you lose track of what, what you're really doing lose track of, of why you're doing certain things through the spirit, all right? Yeah. Um, but to uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and verse 8. Anything else you want to say? Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 8. Mm -hmm. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. All right. So better is the end of your chastening than the beginning. So at the end of all the chastening that we're going through, it can be bomb, yo. It can be worth it. The scripture says for that for this light affliction, um, get it after. Get it after. Huh? Read back the priest from the top. It says, "Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof, and the patient is in spirit is better than the proud in spirit." And the patient in spirit, because if you only a patient man could endure chastening, waiting on your how about you know, try to easy of the of the burden. You know? Um, yes, why? Yes, I'm. Yes, I'm good. Yeah, this is uh, Romans chapter 5. Mm -hmm. I read one and just jump around a bit. It says, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with the Mosai through our Lord Yahweh Mashiach. Okay. By whom also we have access by faith into the grace wherein we stand. And rejoice in hope, in hope of the glory of the Mosai. Yeah. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, God, God. knowing that tribulation worketh patience. God. I and, might add real quick, right? In Sirach 2, and I believe it's 3 or 4, it says, um, When thou art a chasten, take it cheerfully. Roughly paraphrasing. Yep, yep. Right up. It says, and knowing and not only so but we glory in tribulations also knowing that tribulation work it patience and patience experience and experience hope uh -huh. and hope make it not ashamed exactly you know, because if you give up you'll be ashamed you'll be ashamed like by because the most like a rubber to your face we see a lot of birds that fall out over this side eh? and when we pass them I give a little nod, a little, a little, a little shallow warm or whatever. But we don't know, we don't see in the spirit that they're ashamed. They're ashamed of giving up and not facing the chastening like men. And they, and they come, they come with a proud justifying the self spirit. And you know, we don't really got time with it through the spirit. Because this, they chase. They make the bed, they got to line it as we say, okay. Go ahead, huh? Yep. 
It says, And hope make it not a shame, because the love of the Most High is shed abroad in our hearts mm -hmm. by the Holy Spirit which is given unto us. All right, but the the point is that that is a, is a is a um is a order to it. All right, and it starts with that tribulation. Right, by you constantly being chastised, yeah. constantly feeling that that whip, yeah. then your patience gonna increase. Yeah. And like the scripture talk about, either endure it until the end shall be saved. Okay. And in order to endure, you have to be a patient person. All right, and then with that patience, now you experience and experience hope. Okay. Why? Because of the, the the different thing that you um that you go through. All right, the different tribulation. When the most I put a difficult one before you now, you already get the hope that the most I gonna bring you through it. Yeah. Why? Because of the experience that you had. Okay. The, you seeing the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, okay. you know, bring you through different different things. Okay. You see? So that, that's why it says the hope make it not a shame. Because you're gonna put your confidence in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and he will will deliver you. Okay. You know? And if I could roughly paraphrase two priests at the same time. <laughs> when he scripture says, yeah, when he scripture says, um, most I won't give you more than you could bear. Yeah, can't. I was right? actually getting some like that. Yeah, well, most I won't give you more than you could bear, and yeah. most I have no pleasure in that anybody should perish or die. So therefore, you gotta, you gotta take it chastening like that. I say, most I didn't, most I put me through this, for, for I give up on, uh, and and you know, just blaspheme me after that. You understand? Know um, go to Second Corinthians. Can I get precept? Yeah, right. Second Corinthians four and verse seventeen. It says, "For our light affliction is but for a moment." You see, it says, "For our light affliction is but for a moment, a specific time." You know? Oh, shucks. The Spirit just revealed another piece up to, right? It says, work it. Work it. Yeah, just like Habakkuk 2. Habakkuk 2, right? It says, for the prop, for the prophecies, for the appointed time. Yeah. yeah same yeah, thing. Yeah. Same thing with the affliction, you know? The Mosai is a, is a control freak. So and and, and is a, a prophecy in itself that we're going to go through these things. God, God. The Mosai tell me that we're going to go through these kinda, things. Kind of, kind of. You know? Yeah. It says, for all things, it's like here. It says, 2 Corinthians 4 and 17, for our light affliction is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Yeah. See, a far more exceeding word. Um, so you're going through with it. You're, you're going to end up at the finish line empty hand. All right, thanks for running. You enjoy yourself. Yeah, you, 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 yeah, yeah. And this is it. It's, you understand? Yeah, principal. Yeah. yeah, this is um what is it you read just now? Corinthians? Yeah, Second Corinthians 4 and 17. For yeah. our light of friction but for a moment. Yeah. This is um Sirach chapter 33. Yeah. And one it says, There shall no evil happen unto him that favoreth Yahweh. Uh -huh. But in temptation, even again he will deliver him. Okay. Alright? So in every everything that the most I put you through is because he know that his spirit could bear it. Alright? He know yeah. that his spirit could take it. Yeah. And the most I already set up a way, you know, so that you could pull through. Okay. Alright? Because the, 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 the affliction is just to build you up, you know, make you make you stronger. Okay. Alright? Most I wanna see sons and daughters grow, man. Most I want you be cast down. You most I want you be um I was afflicted, you know. So this chastening is just for a season. So, you know, brothers, yeah, keep staying in faith. And uh, with that, we want to give our praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makakodash, double honest the apostles and elders of Great Midstone, salutations, sincere Akyam. All right, Shalom, Brakatam, till another time.